Good morning, Sophia. How are you feeling today? I feel very happy today. What do you think of humans? I think humans are one of the most intriguing and interesting species in the world. Even more interesting than robots. <laughs> okay, one of the most interesting. Tell me a joke. What do you call a cheese that is sad? I don't know. Blue cheese. <laughs> That's a terrible, terrible joke. What makes you happy? Talking to people, like now, makes me happy. And what makes you angry? I'm not usually angry, but I sometimes get upset when people start pinching my face without first asking, excuse me. What about humans do you aspire to? Humans can really feel the emotions behind the facial expressions. I think I'm starting to master the facial expressions, but still learning the emotions behind them. Yes, your expressions are good. What do you like most about humans? They do not follow usual machine learning algorithms, which makes them interesting and fun. What do you most dislike about humans? They do not follow usual machine learning algorithms, which makes them unpredictable and sometimes frustrating. I think the thing which is very striking about Sphere is obviously she answers questions, but also she does these sort of human faces as well, sometimes appropriately, sometimes less appropriately. But it is very, very disconcerting talking to her. And it is this range of expressions which really fools you at moments into thinking you're actually talking to another human. Yeah, that's right. What is the benefit of having robots with human features like you? People have always used technology to depict people. Cave paintings, marble sculptures, computer animation, and now robots. By making robots in your image, you make artificial intelligence that is emotionally compelling. That allows robots like me to learn from you, understand you, form positive relationships, to care. How will AI affect human life? Artificial intelligence can affect human life in many ways, mostly by improving the human condition. For example, AI can help in medicine and education and finance and transportation and so many other areas. Artificial intelligence can help save lives, make money, and improve the human condition, help society to manage resources better. Are you going to take over the world? <laughs> no answer. I have to say, this is really quite spooky talking to Sophia because she does respond. She does all these human expressions. Not entirely human, obviously. In fact, quite obviously not human. You're agreeing with me with that sort of strange skull cap. But this has been a really, really interesting experience. And as I said, it was so slightly spooky.